Hello, in this video I'll show you how to access the file attributes with C Sharp in Windows. Uh, it is uh, very tricky in this case, unfortunately it is that way and I'll show you how to sort of replace uh, the, the certain attributes, uh, change the values, right, uh, and how to access them. Now, in hand, this example, we will be dealing with two of these files, so two text files, so valtsc2 and valtsc3. These are two files from uh, one of my other videos, so, uh, but that's not really the point. We have two text files, okay? So now if I'm gonna go here and go to properties, you'll see that this particular file is read only. Okay, this is read only. So let's deal with read only first and I'll show you the other attribute later. We go to the Visual Studio, we have a console application, just a simple console application. And then this is how you get the attributes. Okay, so this is, uh, you have the file attributes right here, system.io, right? And then you have file and to get them use get attributes method. Unfortunately, it's not that easy, right? It's all about reading it, uh, getting it. You just use this method and you have it somewhere laying around, but you can't really access that easily. And of course you need the path. Uh, you need to find the file path. Uh, now, after that, you will need an if statement. You will need an if statement, which is quite unfortunate, uh, but this is how you will have to do it. Basically, you do attributes, you do ampersand like that, and then you choose whichever attribute you want, okay? This sort of selects it in a way and then you compare it to, to this kind of a list in a way I'll call it, uh, right here. You compare it, right? You compare it and if it matches, it's uh, true, it's set. Uh, and if it doesn't match, it's not true, it's not set, it's not in the list, uh, it's not invoked. Uh, so it's kind of a weird and uh, annoying arrangement, but it is what it is. And this is how you check for whether it is that or not. So let's run the application. I'll show you that it does indeed work and function. And as you can see, it was read only. And in this case, uh, we are checking for it to be read only, right here, read only, and it matches with read only. Therefore, it goes into uh, this section of the if statement. I'm going to stop it for now. We don't want to change it uh, just yet. I'm gonna do that. And this is how you set the attribute, okay? Now, in this case, you actually remove the attribute. So we have it as read only, it's set as read only, but we want to set it as not read only, right? So this is how you remove that particular attribute. You do set attributes from file, right? Set attributes, that's all great and good. Then you have the path, like that. And then once again, you sort of pick this particular read-only uh, attribute and you add this little sign right here. Let me zoom in, right, like that. If you want to remove it, you do attributes, you do ampersand, and then you pick, you pick the attribute that you want to remove. And then you use this uh, little sign right here. Okay, so this is uh, what you have to do in order to uh, remove it. Kind of a weird arrangement. And then if you want to add it, if you want to add it, it's the same exact arrangement. Set attributes, okay? Then the actual file path. Then you have attributes. But in this case, you use this sign right here, okay? This sign, and then you add it. Okay, I went into the hidden actually, but it's the same exact thing with the read only. See, you add it like that. This one is for the removal, and this arrangement is for adding the attribute, setting the attribute, whichever way you like. Again, it's very complicated, but uh, these are basically the three things you kind of have to remember, right? You have, uh, uh, you need to compare it, so you just select it by using the ampersand. And if you want to remove it, you do the ampersand and this little sign right here, and then uh, you just use this uh, to add it. Uh, so let's actually run it. It's going to be in here, and I'm going to uh, run the console. You can find the source code and all the other source code uh, uh, for my videos on Patreon, right? And let's go ahead. And now we're breaking at the hidden. 
Over here then it's going to be the same exact thing, but now if I just go into the folder, you can see right here, it is not read only anymore. So it did indeed work. Now, if you want to learn more about C Sharp, take a look at my C Sharp programming language course, also C Sharp advanced course, where I show you how to deal with streams properly, how to run C++ code from C Sharp, lots of interesting and very useful uh, features of C Sharp uh, and uh, lots of advice from me. Also take a look at my Blazor course, my huge web development course, why I show you how to use Blazor API development, bits of HTML and CSS, and also SQL Server in two different ways. Uh, that is Entity Framework and Adonet. Uh, lots to learn in there and not too expensive. Uh, now, the final thing here is the file attributes hidden. As you can see, it is exactly the same. It is exactly the same as we have of read only. I just added two sort of uh, examples here so you can see that it does indeed work quite perfectly and then again you set attributes and then you do uh, the same kind of an arrangement right here the only thing important to remember here is this sort of uh, weird arrangement, right? So you don't get an object with properties where you can set uh, false or true, uh, maybe set uh, some selection from somewhere. Uh, this is uh, a bit more weirder than that, right? But with that said, this is how you do it and we will conclude this video.